a Rolls Royce is of a half million dollar. What makes it that very expensive? It is just a car like any other car. It's not the fastest out there. It's probably not the fastest out there. It kind of looks very normal. But well, today I'm going to tell you something. It is not normal. And I'm going to tell you why there are very few Rolls Royce in your country. Similarly, why there are very few successful individuals in any field of endeavor that we may define success to be. I'm going to tell you why is it that very what, why it costs that very expensive, and why you need to live such kind of a life for the Rolls Royce to create such kind of a worth in your life. The Rolls Royce analogy stands to be the true blueprint to a successful life that we aspire to have. It takes six months to build a Rolls Royce. Wait for Toyota, it only takes about 13 hours. Your tomorrow is built up by your today, but it's not gonna take an overnight. Well, I believe in leap success, but leap success itself come in a point in time where you've invested a lot of energy bit by bit for your future, persistently, continuously, and tirelessly. Some of my friends pitched from 15 to 30 investors. They missed it until when they met one that believed in them. And we just sit as leap success, but we don't see the hassle that they've made. And at most cases, is an investment of time and energy behind every leap success. That's why you don't have to wait for tomorrow. You gotta start today, for you have a long journey to become that Rolls Royce. Unless you wanna become like a Toyota, then you can go for shortcuts. I'm gonna tell you a story of someone called Colonel Sanders who was the founder of Country Fried Chicken, KFC, where it was not until the age of 62 that he set out a $105 social security check in hand to pitch his chicken recipe to restaurant. But imagine a thousand and nine folks told him that he was crazy. But he did not give up. It took him a sacrifice of time. Sanders worked for many jobs including being a firearms, a tire salesman, an insurance salesman, and of course a cook. He brewed up his circuit chicken recipe between 1939 and 1940 when he figured out how to pressure a fried chicken in a faster and a more consistent product of all time. He was at the age of 50 when all that happened. It was not until 1952 that he hit the road and began trying to sell his Funkai's model chicken restaurant. And by the way, the first restaurant that landed which was called the first country fried chicken. The restaurant tripod in sales within a year, of which 75% of that is from the chicken recipe, the colonel's chicken. That is the Rolls Royce blueprint margin over time. I know it's gonna be hard. It's gonna need a big impact. People may say that you are not moving. You ain't making no steps in your efforts. But in your mind, you gotta know that you are building a Rolls Royce. You are not building a Toyota. And you are building over half million dollar worth. You gotta take time. But now, you're gonna start today. Cause patience is the virtue to your success. From the start to finish of a Rolls Royce, it is truly man-made. As a matter of fact, there are only four kind of robots in the assembly, of which two are for painting purposes. Most of the car is made by hand, and hence the exclusivity of the car. How human creativity and intelligence is valuable than that of the robots. How our mindset are valuable than that of the environment around us. Look, it takes your intelligence to shape the future you want and what the environment setting up on you. The environment such as of Toyota robots, they are set to insert values and beliefs in us. Sometimes the environment is set us to tell us that we can afford this and that. We cannot make marathon in less than two hours. It has never happened. But it takes the power of an individual, not only to believe but craft a record that you want craft a future bit by bit 
We want every part of our life to be built by our intelligence, wisdom, and tenacity to pursue of what the world calls impossibility. And it's possible through the power within us. Can you imagine of the environment telling Thomas Edison when failing the hundred times in creating the incandescent light bulb? What would Alibaba be if Jack Ma accepted the values and the beliefs in his environment set for him about the internet revolution in China? What about Mr. Edwin Seed Burns who was covered with lots of challenges but eventually wanted to become a partner with Thomas Edison? What about Nelson Mandela whose environment intimidated him for death prison for 27 years? What about all those successful school dropouts that the environment sets conventional ways to succeed through education? but challenge the environment values and eventually merit in life. What about those entrepreneurs that came with crazy businesses and environment said, uh uh, no. People wouldn't like that. We now call it exponential growth, exponential technology, and they've earned billions of dollars. No one, no situation, no history can craft who you are and what you can achieve. It's only by your concern. You have the power to get it, no matter of the environment around you. The first enemy to your success is yourself, because you choose your own identity. Being a robot made environment or being truly handmade by yourself, just like the exclusivity of the Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce are built to last. Roughly about 65% of Rolls Royce since production are still on the road today. Matter of fact, some of the oldest Rolls Royce on the road today cost millions of dollars. Do you know why? The Rolls Royce have proved the concept of sustainability. Strength to remain standing over dynamics. An average Rolls Royce stays for a hundred years. Over the things you decide, dream or think, do it for the next 10, 30, 40 years, while others will be failing down Pershing, why should you keep standing firm? It is the foundations that you make right now for your sustainability. What is your vision? What do you see in the next 30 years? What do you do about that? Just like Warren Buffett's principle of successful investing, investment for the long term, building for the long term, building to last. Building for the long term exposes you to exponential thinking and exponential growth. For the present, it may not make sense. Over time, the efforts, decisions, the foundations that you build right now for the sake of tomorrow start manifesting an exponential growth. No matter how bad it costs you, no matter how much demands for you, the time to build it, the path to making it, how crazy you may look, how broke people may see you right now. For the sake of the Rolls Royce future, this is the blueprint and you gotta take it and be comfortable with the uncomfortability. Only bull hide is used and not the cow hide because a cow hide on giving birth it receives some stretch marks. Something that Rolls Royce wouldn't want on the hide. And a matter of fact, it takes to kill 11 bulls just to finish an interior of one Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce precious Malabar wood from India is stored in humidified chambers that they do not crack. And so more that we could measure. See, the attention to details of the materials you feed yourself greatly determines the worthiness of the person that you're becoming and the life that you're going to believe in. The discussion you get involved to the schedules that you have, the experiences that you look for, the videos you watch, the things you listen, the music you listen, the things that you learn, be that school, internet, whatever that has to do with your mind. That is it is important to feed your mind constantly with positive things that will power up your day, things that will give you tenacity of supreme to pursue your dream, conversation that will challenge you and push you above your limits, the books that will make you a powerhouse to your dream for everything that enters your mind ultimately builds your mindset. Be attentive to the materials entering your mind and experiences you go from because what you speak is the overflow of what is in your mind. How you act and do 
is the manifestation of what is overflowing in your mind. What overflow is exactly in your mind? The overflow in your mind is a genesis to your personality and characters. Once you're able to master your overflow, then you've mastered your outward person. And that's why it's important feeding your mind with materials, fine information, fine experiences, just like a Rolls Royce, for you to have such a worthiness of a Rolls Royce than of any other car. The Rolls Royce are produced by order and it is customly built to suit that specific user. It is not made from nowhere. It is made intentionally. Your life is not a product of luck. You intentionally choose the fruits of your life and of your tomorrow and you walk for them. You are the one who chooses to be that person you dream of and you intentionally rally to suffer and pay for whatever it takes because you long and hunger. Everything intentional become worth just like a Rolls Royce is intentional. That is why you won't meet a Rolls Royce being marketed. It automatically attracts the right people. When you're intentional about your future, about your dream, about your life, you begin to attract the right people. You begin to attract the right events you'll attend, the right network, the right schedules, because all your life is subjected to an intention that makes you set values from there. The person you are has attracted this life you're living and going to live. If you want to become a successful person in whatever field of life that you want, then take time to develop that person that will attract that dream. The dream, the success, the job, the network, and the business that you're looking for is currently looking for you. It only finds a non-compatible person because of your characters, mindset, the people you surround with, your belief system, your attitude, your personality. And that's why it's important to take time to build, custom build that person that will attract that success and that dream. Decide today, am I going to be having a mindset of a Rolls Royce or of a Toyota? Everyone may want to become that Rolls Royce. Everyone may want to become that successful, but only few they will. It is those that with the mentality of a Rolls Royce. And you have the blueprint today. You better start becoming that person right today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Simon from Emplos, South Africa. I love you all and may God bless you.